Hello. What, hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, wait, you can't see me, can you? No, I cannot. Good, let's keep it that way. How are you doing? Uh, one moment, please. Oh, you know what? Okay, yeah, I just wanted to make sure you're the real Destiny since I couldn't see you. Uh, every once in a while, someone will, will impersonate you, right? And, uh, <laughs> Me? Nah, nah, chief, come on. And it's it's a problem, right? So, um, but um, anyway, yeah, uh, I don't know how much of that you saw. Uh, what are your thoughts? Um, uh, I'm gonna be honest, I napped for about five minutes of it. I think I woke up and you guys were on the same thing, though, so, um, do you understand why? Do you understand what the prop with the main communication breakdown was? Uh, honestly, uh, I'm I, I'm not sure. I'm still trying to process it. I'm going to be real with you. I I think that um, something happened along the way, and he decided that I was uh, manipulating him or uh, running defense for you, which was not my intent. To be clear. So. Yeah. Okay. So he, so here's what's going on as the uh, chief Mister Girl translator. That's still my um. I, I still moonlight as that. Um, so, <clears throat> hold on. Do you need to see me? Does it matter, or? Uh, it would help, but, uh, it doesn't matter, I mean. Okay, hold on, let me see if I can do this. Does this, wait, how do I flip the thing around to make it look at me? Whoa. Uh, I do not know. Are you sick or something? You sound different. No, oh, I'm chilling. I'm in a hotel room. Okay, oh, okay, hi. okay, hey, hi. Okay, um, the, so one of the big problems is, um, Max has a worldview that he cannot step out of, but he also doesn't feel the need to justify. So the issue you're running into, and, and ironically, it's kind of the issue with his report, is that in Max's worldview, being mean to people online is a form of abuse, and that's just kind of taken for granted. That's why when he DM'd you, that's why he said he didn't want to have to justify or defend the fact that I abused Anna, that I abused Lav, that I abused him, because that's just a given, that being mean to people in a certain way is abuse. And the reason why his article or report or whatever the fuck he wants to call it, the reason why it didn't land the way that he wants it to and the reason why it won't land the way that he wants it to is because he's missing the crucial section where he needs to lay out what abuse is and how people like me further abuse. Instead, what he does is he just gives you a whole bunch of actions of mine, assuming you've already bought into his paradigm, because in his world, no other paradigm exists. And then it should be self-evident that destiny doing XYZ action is obviously abusive. Well, because if you're in my world, you already know these things are abuse. Like, that's, the, mm -hmm. that's kind of the issue with what he's got set up. And it's why he was getting so frustrated with you. Um, a really good example of this is um, that rape analogy is very telling, right? When... Um, you still hear me, right? I can still hear you. Can Go on. You. Yeah. When Max uses the rape analogy, the reason why that analogy hits so hard for him is because in his world, rape is analogous to being mean to somebody. If you're raping, if somebody gets raped, mm. and then you ask them, well, hold on, you said that you got raped, but doesn't everybody rape here? Or you said you got raped, but was it really that bad? Didn't you rape somebody? These would obviously be ridiculous questions. He did, and, he but did in use his... that. Yeah, he did use that analogy a few times. Um, and mm -hmm. again, uh, as I said to him, and I'll say to you, right? Like, if that was his accusation, we would have an entirely different conversation. But his accusation. Yeah, but the reason why the rape accusation or the analogy works for him is because in his mind, me being mean to somebody is the same thing. It is wrong. It is abuse. It's just as, maybe not just as bad as rape or something, but it is. But the problem is he never actually takes any time to justify that. So instead, it's just a bunch of garbage that's spewed that you're just you supposed think, to believe. Uh, so do yeah. you think he was, um, um, I, I guess, uh, to kind of piggyback some of the last exchange we had, do you think that he was good faith, quote unquote, in this article in the sense that he, he believes uh, that you are abusive, manipulative, um, uh, you take uh, advantage of uh, power dynamics uh, that are sexually abusive, etc. Do you think that he's uh, he's honest? Yeah, I, I, I think he truly believes it. Yeah, I do. I don't think he's dishonest. 
or, he doesn't strike me as a dishonest person. You just have to keep in mind that he's coming from a very particular like frame of, of reference. And in his frame of reference, everything kind of makes sense. But he never does anything to justify or build that frame of reference, right? So, like, for instance, like, take, like, if I was going to argue the DDoS story to somebody, like, that I wanted to kill this kid and his dad, <clears throat> which I did and still would, <laughs> based, fuck those two people. But if I wanted to argue that, I know that to most people, that's going to sound really crazy. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do a lot of groundwork to try to lay out, well, I believe in self-defense. I think that if you're going to try to take somebody's income, especially if they've got a family, I'm going to do work to build that out. And you might agree or disagree along the way, which is fine, but I'm at least going to make the effort to do that. In Max's world, he needs to take time to justify why the actions that I'm taking are abusive, not just give actions that I'm doing and, and claim they're abusive, right? But he does, he, he plays a few tricks where he like, he'll rely on some things that are obviously bad, like grabbing somebody's boob on stream, yes. or obviously bad, I guess, ostensibly, like threatening to kill somebody. Um, but then he'll conflate these with things like being mean to Lav or, or being mean to him. Um, or, fi or like him being mean to other people as part of the ecosystem. But the frustrating thing for him is that when you ask, well, isn't this part of the ecosystem? In his mind, these things are already like obviously immorally wrong. That you asking that question just feels like a giant, like uh, a diversion, a whataboutism. It's the equivalent to saying like, okay, well, sure, you got raped, but don't a lot of people rape in this fraternity? That's why he's getting so frustrated. But he hasn't laid the groundwork out to justify his his worldview, because a narcissist doesn't need to, his worldview is just correct. And he do it doesn't need justification, I think. That's how I view it. It, it. it became evident in the conversation that it was going to be very hard to actually get him to, to answer the questions because he felt it was manipulative. And because he felt he was being manipulated, he was going to respond as if he was manipulated. And I think that kind of, it was a demonstration to me who has not engaged in this space at the same level as uh, he has or other uh, Destiny orbiters have or or other people in other orbits like Vosh's orbit have that that just kind of drove home. Man, it was, man I, I just don't I don't know what I can believe from him and what I cannot. Like, what is he saying that is true and what is he saying that he believes to be true, but is just the result of kind of this um, spiritual mindset? Uh, that he's kind of yeah. I up. think there's. I think that's kind of the issue, and that's why these interviews would have been so important. He needed an he needed an editor to weave. What he should have done is, if he wanted to sell the story first, he needed to figure out what the fuck he was even trying to argue. Because I'm not sure what he was trying to prove with me. Was it that I was sexually abusive? Was it just I was sexually coercive? Was it just that I'm mean to people? Was it that I use my platform? It, like I don't even know what what point he's trying to sell. So we're already off to a really bad start. But once he identified that, what he needed to do was he needed to hone in on like two to four stories that like play a big aspect of furthering that abuse. Right? He tried, to, he so tried like, to cover everything, but ended up covering nothing, right? You can, like, yeah, exactly, because that's what happens, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, he, like, maybe he wants to, like, what he could have said is, Destiny engages in retaliation in a way that makes future criticism of him impossible. Here are three examples of that happening. When Mia Rose um, made attack Destiny on stream, he attacked her. When a kid, uh, you know, DDoS his internet connection, he threatened to kill them. When he got into a scuffle with uh, Nicole, Blue T, because he leaked her nudes where he was in the wrong, he threatened to get her fired for a situation that he started. He could have built on these three stories and in a very, very short, cohesive manner, laid out this idea, and then he, and then he could have left it open for the future. Maybe there are other orbiters in the future that are yeah. scared to criticize Destiny because they've seen the retaliation he's taken in the past. Even if those were justified, other people, like, this is like a potential storyline that he's got all the material there for it, but, he, but in his world, he doesn't need to justify or write any of that. You should just agree with it automatically without even without even thinking about it but the presentation and everything is obviously so fucked and poor because he because he doesn't feel like he needs to justify himself and Perfect. that's like the perpetual problem that he has in his life that's why the only people that he'll ever find himself surrounded with agreeing with him are people that he's manipulated so mm -hmm. lav and his zombie fuck girlfriend shaylin like nobody else will ever agree with him but as long as he's got like the people around him he's manipulated it's enough for him to like i guess infinitely vibe into the fucking echo chamber yeah uh, two things uh one one just real quick like the uh the idea that uh it needed to be more concise i there was a reason regardless of what you think of this that the twitter files were released drip 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 and so people could digest them releasing them all at once would have been even worse than the reception that they had the second thing since you're here right um i guess i'll ask you this uh do you think right that um what what do you feel 
is if you had to kind of critique yourself or write a manifesto or report on yourself, what what's your biggest regret in this space of doing? Like, what do you wish you were like, oh, man, I fucked up. I wish I would never engaged in that. That was a terrible thing. Um, I was legit bad for doing this. Um, I'd have to think a lot. Um... I think something that Max has made me aware of, although I, I become more aware of this every time, is there. So I have like um, I've got a model of charitability, and I've got a model of engaging with um, non-standard creators. That's like very unique to my model of success. So I'm the only streamer my size that would ever talk to somebody like Max. I'm the only streamer of my size that would ever engage with a lot of like, with like all the politics people, for instance, right? Like when me. I love yeah, the Twitch like politics, yeah. yeah, sure. When I love the Twitch politics, Vosh isn't engaging with any of you guys. Hassan sure as fuck isn't engaging with anybody. None of the people that are hanging off of um, Hassan are trying to engage with anybody, right? So in one way, that's like a benefit to me and to the ecosystem and to everybody else around me. Um, I guess in a, in a Machiavellian sort of sense, I kind of figure that like, I see the benefit to myself, I see the benefit to my audience, and I see the benefit to the people around me, and that should be enough, but it clearly isn't. Um, something I learned a long time ago in interpersonal relationships and you, is you can't really listen to what people say. You have to do a little bit of mind reading, or you've got to like understand that, like, listen, you might say you're okay with something, but I don't know if you're going to be. I either have to like take that agency from you, or I need to like give you more information or something and there's probably better ways that i could go about like integrating people um into my stream ecosystem i'm not really sure how and it feels really strange to do it with adults um like well, yeah even i mean one oh, sub yeah one substantive criticism that i i think i i've um i would levy right um is that yeah i mean sleeping with your fans or sleeping with other streamers and orbiters probably isn't the wisest thing and it, it does have a lot of potential for abuse so whether or not it was abusive in the instances he's laid out right the fact that like someone does sleep with their orders sleep with their fans yeah that that does raise red flags with people and i think that's a fair criticism isn't it no um i understand what you're saying so here, this is something that i would say there are red flags for sure um but a red flag is a red flag a red flag is not a mine right a red flag is maybe there's something there there's an interesting world that I'm in. I've had a th I've thought about this a lot today and yesterday, actually, is that sometimes people will criticize me for a certain behavior, but it's not actually the behavior that's the problem. It's like an abstraction from the behavior. So, for instance, like people might say, like, oh, like you've got a problem because you've like fucked too many people or whatever. And it's like, that's not really the problem, though. The problem right now is max. The problem is other people that obsess over it. I feel like if anything, and I know that this won't be the takeaway, but I feel like if anything, Max probably reached out to 40 plus people. He's probably got like 50 plus hours of interviews. He's built his whole Anna and fucking lab narrative. All of this shit that he's built out, to, built out on, I unless I missed it, there was not a single instance of anything that he's done of any sexual misconduct whatsoever, except for maybe Mia Rose, if you want to say that, which is fair. But that was like that wasn't like an abuse of power. Like I'm doing that was like me who for the second time in my life I got way too fucking wasted on a stream and was being stupid, right? So like yeah, I mean, are there red flags for sure? But like I don't think I've ever I don't I no. Let me put it this way. Okay. No streamer would ever get their life vetted as hard as I have and come out that clean, okay? And I'm not trying to fucking jerk myself <laughs> over whatever. But, like, holy I, shit. I don't like know this about guy, that, but okay. Absolutely. Bro, do you know how many fucking streamers and all these motherfuckers are rapists, creepy fucking losers? Like, bro, so many guys in this sure. industry are. So many streamers in this industry are. Like, absolutely. This is, so, this is why I, I, I asked him that question. Yeah, this is why I sure. asked him that question about, like, why Destiny, right? And he said, oh, you're just trying to distract or thing. Because I think the, the, the conversation to be had, and you're absolutely right, like, uh, if if you uh you know find me the man and I'll find you the crime isn't that a good quote? But uh like if you turn over the rocks in the streamer world, there's there's all sorts of dark things underneath because I think that the incentive structures, the parasociality of this space is a problem. There's a problem here. So um yeah, uh that that's what I, I, like, I wanted to talk about. Yeah, and I, and also this is like kind of annoying. And I I have a I have a disposition. I've got a demeanor where people don't give a fuck about being fucked up towards me, which at this point I kind of own. I don't whatever. But like the ousting of like all of kind of my personal sexual relationships and like details of my stuff considering there's no abuse is actually really fucked up 
It's really fucking weird. If me and Lab were in reversed positions, Lab's career would be fucking over. Could you imagine if I fucked some random bimbo dipshit and was online talking about their roast beef meat flaps to some Nazi dude in a Discord, and then he leaked lies about the sexual encounter? My career would be over, right? It would be like completely over. But whereas like Lab, and I think that Lab's story for sexual abuse is way more interesting, right? Because I would I would argue that her relationship with me sexually was abusive in terms of her leaking everything, lying about the details um and then her and then the fact that she would like hit on multiple people online she started the sexual in our relationships and then there's an interesting story with her and his son where she tried to hit on his son a son ignored her and then because she got upset about that she ends up making up a story about him fucking an underage girl that never happened right like those are situations that are genuinely like that's sexually abusive crazy fucking shit um but somehow like all of that flies under the radar and then it's like oh well i'm just gonna write a seven thousand page fucking story like digging up all sorts of random shit about my personal like destiny's personal life in a way it's like this it just feels a little bit like salacious like is, was any of this necessary did you need to include like as many deals as you did it just feels kind of weird but i guess because i'm a guy it's like cool and funny to just like out a bunch of like my personal random relationships i will say though and i will always leave this invitation open if somebody does feel like i'm being sexually abusive or if you feel like i've sexually abused you or some bullshit or whatever if someone wants to write about that or investigate that that's fair but like that wasn't what this was that wasn't written anywhere here lab herself admitted that and none of it was even included in terms of anything in this so i don't know it's just i guess it's a little bit dehumanizing i guess to me that like my personal life kind of becomes this playground for people to like you know do exploratory shitty slam poetry writing on for fifty thousand no, fucking pages to, to boost views on their page yeah i get it and like i said like i like i told uh mr girl and i'll tell you i i i don't know you uh to be very clear like uh, uh i don't have a the only relationship we have is a working one um i'm not uh, familiar with your past your lore or anything like that um so uh the value that i found in max's report was uh that he did illustrate uh some of the the yeah um the misbehavior of your past perhaps um but that said right and, and what i would wish i could have asked him if he had stayed my question was like okay what do you want to happen to destiny because of all this right what what is the result uh or what should be the result of all this information being public if i sit here and i read and i believe every single word of this document then what right should should you go to jail like should you uh uh be uh deplatformed what what is it that he wanted to happen and i, I was very well, i think for him what he's been i think what he said in one of his highlights he wanted me to lose all of my platforms so that i wouldn't have access to people to abuse anymore because that's when him and lav were gaslighting each other <laughs> and they were like and then he went on lex friedman and all i could think of was all the new women that he was going to abuse <laughs> fair enough um is there anything uh, else you'd like to to, to uh, set the record straight on when it comes to the report there's a lot of rumors floating around um yeah there are a lot of weird rumors floating around i mean all i'll say is that like it's i feel like it's kind of gross that like people want to dig through like so much of my personal life i understand like the temptation to and the desire to and I, I wish i could do like a stream where like i cry for 30 minutes and i talk about how it, oh it's so gross and invasive and blah 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 like you know if i'm not making it public like you guys shouldn't be public on my shit and you guys shouldn't speculate you know even if you're british like I, like i could obviously play that game and do that i mean i don't really care to but I, like i will say at the end of the day um Dude, there were so many there were so many details in that article that were incorrect. Like, it, so, so, um, do you remember when Matt Walsh was on Joe Rogan and um, somebody asked him about like how many kids do you think are on puberty blockers and he said three million kids. When somebody makes a mistake like that, you got to wonder like, did you do any research for your documentary at all? When Max legitimately thought that Linus Tech Tips was on my fucking stream having these conversations. Like, this guy almost sold his company for, like, $100 million, and you think he's fucking in the anadrama? Like, what the fuck is... Like, there were quite a few small mistakes like that he made. He thought that Nicole, that one girl, was a professional fucking gamer or streamer. She never was. Um, there were a lot of little mistakes like that, which kind of shows the importance of, like, one, why you need an editor, two, why somebody besides your mindfuck brainwashed, uh, manipulated, like, abuse victim victims should probably be proofreading you know, you know besides you and then three that um he probably should have reached out to other parties for comment me included even if he hates me and he doesn't want to because it's how you write a proper article like this like hey do you have feedback do you want to correct anything here do you want to stand in there like obviously i'm not going to be able to dictate the content but um having factual inaccuracies like that really hurts because it makes me wonder what did you spend like you spent four months working on an article that looks like it was written in a three-day fever dream 
Like that's what it feels like. I, I get you. And then I get also, you. also my last thing, and then sorry, my last thing too is I think this is important as well. I believe that like the reason why he worked so hard on the transcriptions is because Max really needs you to, stri- and he said this in other words, in more clever words, but he really needs you to strip the context from everything in order to sell the narrative that he wants to, and doing transcriptions is a much more effective way of doing that, so that he can have a quote from Dan in there, I think, saying something like, oh, like, you don't want to bring the ire of DGG on you. When Dan is saying it, it's clearly a joke, but when you read it in text format, you don't have that video context, it feels quite a bit different, more insidious, but... Yeah, so yeah, that that was mentioned several times. And uh I think uh Mind Waves put out a tweet about that. Um I and I did want to ask him like why did he include the transcript the link to the VODs in some instances, but in other instances not. I mean it could be a perfectly rational explanation. I had trouble finding uh some of the VODs, so I, I just couldn't link it and we needed to get it out. That was fa- fair, right? Um but I guess I guess I'd just ask you this, right? I I hear you about the factual inaccuracies, right? Um, mm-hmm. But some a critic might say that you were just using those little mistakes to cover for the bigger accusation in and of itself, and whether or not they were factually accurate with the the uh, whether or not that one girl was a, a gamer streamer or not. Does that not that doesn't really play into the accusation itself, right? No, the no, the Nicole shit was horrible. I treated her terribly. That was like super fucked up. Like I don't disagree with that, but yeah. it's like, but it's just kind of weird that, and I understand because my life is public. This happened was it eleven or twelve years ago? Like, it's it's strange sometimes that like I made up with Nicole nine years ago. So am I? Is it every new two years I'm gonna get a new schizoid that's gonna roll out like every single piece of drama? Like I've already said it was fucked up. I already said it was bad. It was horrible. And you know people always focus on the leak nudes part. That wasn't even the part she was mad at. She was mad because I called her ugly, which was really fucked up. It was really shitty of me to do it. There's no defense for it. Same thing with the Mia Rose stuff. Even if I was like super wasted, obviously I shouldn't be grabbing somebody's boobs on stream. But like, am I, is it like so? It's like every two or three years, do we need like I'm never I'm not gonna record a fucking YouTube apology stream where I cry uh, about like the show. Oh, I shouldn't have, like. I I was young. I was 22 or whatever. I was fucking retarded. I shouldn't have done it. I was stupid. But like, what am I, am I going to have like a, like self-admitted rapist Max, like coming to me to tell me that I have to like apologize for these things every two or three years. Like, no, it's fucking ridiculous. Make a video um, and I, and I think so you can play stuff... it every time, right? Make a video of what? you apologizing for these things. And then every time someone, makes I've, I've already, I've talked about it now. I don't think anybody's genuinely cares. It, so. Yeah. It's but like, like uh, I don't know. Like, do you think, like if I had that video out there, do you think Max would be like, oh, okay, Destiny's apologized for this. I'm going to leave it alone. Obviously like, I don't not, right? But, uh, yeah. It's more of a mean yeah. question. Uh, so, I mean, like, I'll, like, I'll keep people, I'll just have people keep that in mind. I'm human. Like, I've lived my whole life, basically every aspect of my life is public. Mm-hmm. And if, if in 12 years, part of your write-up has to include shit that I did over a decade ago, I think for the most part, I'm doing okay. I think I've lived a decent life. I haven't done too many fucking stupid things. If if I, if you get drama. No, not, again, not to say I'm perfect. And obviously, I have made mistakes. And the Nicole shit was, like, really fucked up of me to do. And the Mia Rose shit was stupid, too. Um, I'll still defend the DDoS shit to this day. Fuck that kid and fuck his dad, Jacob. If you're listening, fuck you and fuck your dad, Wayne, as well. Fuck both you losers. That, that was but, another yeah. of the, the major criticisms I had. I, I, I substantively disagree with that, but... Good. Neither here nor I'm glad. Neither, neither here nor there. But uh, okay. Well, thank you for coming on, and thank you for talking about this uh with me. I know that it's been kind of a whirlwind for you, I'm sure. Um, and yeah. Uh, so anything else? Um, no. I'm oh. yeah. Chill. Have fun. You too, man. See you later. Be careful. Bye. What a stream, gang. What a stream. It did not go how I wanted to. I'm, I'm going to be saying I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed with how this went. I wanted it to be better than it was. Um, some of that is on me. Some of that is on me. Um, to what extent, I'll let you, the audience, decide. Um, what do we got coming up, gang? Okay, well, thank you for tuning in. Um, tomorrow, we're going to have some people on, talk about the new domestic abuse laws. Uh, that'll be both on YouTube and Twitch, uh, in Britain, to be clear. Uh, some people are claiming it's misandrist, uh, so we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, and yeah, we'll see what else happens in the meantime. But if you like the content, if you like this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, right? Um, so I can keep doing this. Send some super chats my way. Uh, I have a GoFundMe. Let's see if I can get the link up. I, oh, you know what? I don't have it in front of me. Uh, but check my, uh, check my Twitch. Uh, I'm sure the links are there. Um, I love all of you and I appreciate you all coming in. And with that, We're going to end the stream.